Hello friends, good morning. Hope you're doing great. Today we'll discuss uh, about uh, the reference signal and uh, how the power is calculated in reference signals. So uh, to go about it, we'll uh, uh, take a uh, few points initially. That's uh, number one is uh, the introduction and the concept of calculating power in reference signals. Number two, we'll go with the formulas and the parameters required and used. And number three, some typical examples of uh, 1T1R, 2T2R and 44 with some specified parameters and what is the reference signal power in, uh, in all different kind of uh, antenna scenarios like uh, single antenna or MIMO. So to start with, let's go with the concept and uh, understanding the RS and the related parameters. So initially, uh, we need to know what is EA, EV and um, ERS. Uh, these are the three basic uh, parameters you should understand before understanding the reference signal power settings and uh, knowing the exact power, how it is calculated in the reference signal or the RS power. So. EA is the power of uh, each uh, uh, resource element uh, you know wherein let's say one resource block in the resource block in the line of symbol where no reference signal is allocated or planned to uh, transmit so that particular line where we don't have any reference signal uh, uh, scheduled to transmit uh, that's called EA EB is uh, the symbol line or the resource element line in a resource block where we have uh, this uh, reference signal scheduled to be transmitted maybe for single antenna or multi antenna technology uh, that is 1T1R or even 2T2R or 44R and uh, the actual resource element where uh, we transmit the reference signal is uh, called uh, ERS so these are the three basic basic parameters uh, so these are the three basic parameters you need to know EA EB and ERS I'll repeat uh, one more time EA is uh, in a resource block that particular resource element uh, line where we don't have any reference signal uh, scheduled to be transmitted EB is uh, the line including the reference signal uh, schedule to be transmitted. I'll show you one picture so that you'll have no doubts on uh, understanding how this uh, reference signal is scheduled to be transmitted for 1T1 or 2T2 or 44R. Understand this EA, EB and ERS from this picture. This is one scheduling block with two source blocks and uh, R0 are representing uh, the reference signals or the ERS to be transmitted in this is the one antenna port example so here we transmit uh, the R0 as a uh, this is one resource element where we have chosen this reference signal to be transmitted this line is called you know this one is EA and this one where it is transmitted where it is scheduled to be transmitted the uh, resource element why we have scheduled the reference signal R0 means antenna port 1 just one antenna port so this is EB this is EA and this is ERS so I think that's quite easy for you to understand now what is EA EB and ERS and ERS is the exact resource element why we transmit uh, the reference uh, signal so that's called ERS. So uh, that was uh, initial uh, concept and uh, introduction about uh, the reference signals. Secondly, uh, PA and PB values. So PA values are normally uh, minus 6, minus 4.7, minus 3, minus 1.77, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3. For PB, the second parameter we normally use 0, 1, 2, 1, 3. So there are different uh, combinations of 
PV and PA values uh, we use and calculate the reference signal power. So no, normally uh, we do plan this PV and PA, there is a certain table to use different combination of PA and PA values. So normally we go for some four a specific combination where we are having 100% utilization of the uh, reference signal power. Okay, so this is the table of power uses, so only four combination. Four group are using 100% power uses so you can see the PA and PV values here so for PA value 0 and PV value 0 we are having 100% for PA value minus 3 and the PV value 1 we are also having 100% uses of power then PA value minus 4.77 and PV 2 and PA minus 4.7 sorry PA minus 6 and PV 3 so these are most commonly used uh, combinations PA and PV 0 and 0 and uh, PA minus 3 and PV 1 TV so these two combination are mostly used so that's all about this table utilization table the power uses utilization table so only four groups as we can see are providing us 100 percent uh, power uses that's all about uh, today's session in the next session we'll see uh, some real examples of calculating the uh, rs power and all the uh, you know uh, formulas and uh, I'll show you some tables how reference signals are located for 1T1 or 2T2 and 4T4. So stay tuned to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button below and uh, share if you like this video. Do comment below the video what you learned in the session. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.